Crip Six here. Um, so, <laughs> so I'm gonna be reviewing another movie. Um, it's from Wild Eye releasing. Before I get into it, I just wanna let y'all know, this is probably gonna be the, the last Wild Eye movie that I'm gonna review in quite some time. Um, this one is just, it, this one was bad, man. Like, uh, I just had a hard time watching you know the full hour of it but um you know and that's it i you know i ate a shit ton of edibles and it still didn't help <laughs> but anyways uh, let's get to my review so the movie i'm reviewing obviously you can see here behind me is called sin it's from wild eye releasing it is a uh, an anthology so it has a lot of different uh films from different directors from the uk um so then this is it let me read some of the back for you it says never wake again some of Europe's rising horror filmmakers unite to bring you a chilling collection of five sick and twisted stories, bloodsuckers, ghouls, and killer teddy bears. Uh, await you in this anthology of these. Yeah, no, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna read the rest because it's stupid and it's totally not what this is. Um, <laughs> again, I, I can respect the whole independent horror thing, giving people a home to release their you know their movies and stuff but the this anthology was very very hard to uh to sit through i'm not gonna lie it it the acting wasn't as bad as some of the other um i guess actors or an acting that i've seen in other wild eye films it was decent but it still wasn't believable you know it was very stale you know some of the acting was very boring you really didn't believe that they were in any danger um at all the uh you know some of the uh, makeup effects i mean they're they were decent um and bad i guess <laughs> i guess it, it's pretty much let me put it this way it's like if i have no experience with the uh, makeup effects so it's like if i were to go to spirit the spirit store buy a bunch of the you know silicone and the latex things or whatever that they have there and paints and i and i go to your movie set and i'm like hey i've never done this before but i'm pretty sure i can uh, do somewhat of a decent job and it was just s some of the prosthetics that they had on the face and stuff it just looked like they just just pasted on uh, it just seemed like there was no effort um you know they, they had a lot of different i don't even know what you call it man um there was one called first date dude went on a date and this chick's like a psycho and she films you know their date in her home and some shit happens and she posts it online you know the i was kind of looking forward to seeing the the one with the teddy bear and it was just awful fucking awful man like it's like if i had a hand puppet and the the demonic teddy bear was attacking me and this is all it was doing you know making no contact with me at all it was just kind of like yeah 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 it was bad it was bad um so i'm gonna get back to painting after this after this movie review, I need to kind of regroup here and, and get back to some decent stuff. Because uh, out of the four that I bought like three months ago, only one was sem semi-okay. The others were horrible. This one I do not recommend. Again, it's just my opinion, guys. You know, um, maybe some of you out there might like it or you some of you have seen it and love it. If you like it and if you, if you watched it and you like it, let me know in the comments below. But I do not recommend it. Uh, I will not watch it again. Maybe I'll have a giveaway and I'll give some of these away to you guys so you can, uh, uh, so I can share some of my pain. <laughs> so this is what I really, really think of the film. It's going to come up next. I mean, I already kind of give you my idea, but I want to, I want to just show you guys, you know, um, and again, Coffin Crew, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave me a comment down below. Um, yeah. Sin. No. Just no. Oh my god! Oh, I'm bleeding! Oh dear god, that's wretched.